Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this tutorial. And we, like I said in the previous uh, video, that we were going to be actually diving into something a little bit uh, different from what we've been doing so far, and that is actually getting to use databases in PHP. And that is all we'll be doing: PHP and MySQL. With PHP, you can connect to and um, manipulate databases right you can connect to databases and manipulate manipulate databases using php and mysql is the most popular database system used in php that is why we'll be going into mysql there are really many databases uh, database management systems out there mysql is just one of them you have things like postgres and uh, a lot of other databases we are not going to get into that we are going to focus on php and mysql mysql is a database system used on the web right it's a database management system used on the web and it is uh actually like uh, every other thing we've been talking about here it runs on a server and this server is the same server that I told you guys to install at the beginning of our course, or the beginning of our training. I remember I told you people to install some, uh, which is not the only server that actually runs MySQL though. It is just <coughs> one of them, right? So we are actually just going to uh, work with what we already have. We do you can actually install MySQL on your laptop or on your local machine in a different way. But since we already have MySQL installed on SAMP, we are going to stick with that. Also, MySQL is ideal for both small and large applications, right? It is uh it it it, it is it, it accommodates even your little uh, projects out here and uh, large and complex projects, things like banking systems or other like MySQL can actually accommodate them. It's very fast and it's a reliable uh, a database management system. And just as the name state, it uses the standard SQL. SQL stands for sort of structured query language. Uh, in this tutorial, we are not going to actually uh, dwell on SQL uh, you can actually go out there and maybe do some researches on SQL and actually get a course on SQL. But in this tutorial, we are not going to dwell on it. The fact that we are not going to dwell on it doesn't mean we will not do it. I will actually uh, be taking you guys along like PHP and SQL because you need it. Uh, was just, I just wanted to point out things clear that I am not going to dwell solely on it. I'm not going to produce a different video for it, but I'll leave you with some resources where you can learn SQL, right? Uh, MySQL compiles on a number of platforms. That is the beauty of it. You can run MySQL on Windows, you can run MySQL on uh, Linux, you can run MySQL on uh, Mac OS, and so on. So MySQL is actually a uh, cross-platform, and it is free to download and use, right? I think when you are installing SAMP, you are not asked to actually buy. MySQL is developed and distributed by the Oracle Corporation. I think you, yeah, you can actually get to do some researches on that just to make sure you're on track. And a little fun fact, uh, one of the co-founders of MySQL was named uh, Monty Widenius, and the daughter's name was Mai. And they just had to kind of give him some respect and name uh, uh, the daughter, uh, like give my SQL following the daughter's name. So you have my and SQL. That's, that was just a fun fact of it. So uh, you should also know that uh, data in MySQL databases are stored in tables, right? And these tables are. Uh, a collection of related data and it consists of rows and columns columns and rows anyone that comes so uh, databases are useful for storing information categorically you want to store information in a structured manner uh, examples you have things like employees you have things like products you have things like customers 
and so on. So you have an employee who have a name, have an email, have a contact, and so on. You see that you actually get to structure your data, right? So uh, my SQL, just to recap, my SQL is a database management system, and uh, they they store data in form of tables, and tables have rows and columns, right? This is just some things that you need to know so that when we start talking about things, you don't get to actually uh, confuse. Also, when you combine PHP Mass and MySQL, you you actually get to do and perform a lot of useful things, right? Just uh, that is why we are actually doing this. You have to actually know it. Also, you know that um, there should be ways that you communicate now with the actual database and. That is what we are going to be talking about database queries how to issue queries with php right how you write a query using sql and then execute that query from your php script all of those things are very useful when we get into it you actually see uh, how useful they are um, their use cases right uh, a query is simply a request right you want to speak to the database they call it a query for example, select a star from students. You have this table called student and you want to select some data from it. You see, uh, that is what queries are used for. Uh, this was just an overview of what we'll be doing. We'll actually uh, be moving into connecting to the database of uh, uh, PHP and then having to issue queries, having to insert data, having to delete data, having to uh, perform all the other crude operations create read uh, update and delete all of those operations can be performed on my SQL database and PHP can be used to do this right so uh, we will end this for now and then in the next tutorial we'll actually be diving into the real thing connecting to my SQL databases using PHP but for now I just want you to actually uh, this was just a an overview of what you'll be doing. I just wanted to give you an overview of my SQL, what you'll be expecting to know, and what you are expected to actually research on, right? I'm going to leave a link to some free courses where you can actually learn SQL so that while doing this you don't get to confuse get you don't get confused. And also note that I am not going to completely leave you blank on SQL. I'm going to actually take you through it. Meaning, while we are doing PHP, I'm going to be explaining the queries we are issuing, right? How to create a database, how to uh, create a table, how to insert into a table, how to get data from the table, how to delete, how to update, and so on. All of those things we are going to treat them. So, yeah, that is where we'll end for now, and we'll be moving into connecting to my SQL databases with PHP.